All right. Anything in here? Close that door. Just so I don't want anything popping up behind me. All right, we got dead bodies. Ah, oh, freaking music, man. All right, let's use one of these things on here. Hopefully we get remote, more remote bombs. 19 coin, okay, I'll take that. <sighs> All right, I'm assuming we gotta go there. So before we go there, let's go in here, see if there's any items we can pick up. We do have a door we can uh, open. Not a door, like a little cabinet thing, whatever you want to call it. And remote bombs, okay. Anything else? Why does Mia keep moaning? Like, I gave her the first stage, she's fine. She's just like sexually moaning constantly, it's kind of weird. Hey, Evelyn, how's it going? I'm just uh, here for my husband. I need you to do something. <sighs> I need you to fuck off. Ethan. All right. Uh, what's going on? Ethan. Yeah. Ethan. Jack. What? Hey, shh. Sh sh I know. I know. I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas. Liar. Lucas is a killer. Or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces a way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her and you can't resist the urge to... Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her and you stop her. Ethan, free my family. Please. I will, Jack. I will. Oh, man. I feel so bad for them now. Like, I spent, like, more than half the game hating them. Stay away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember? Okay. I feel so bad for them now. <sighs> hey, Mia, what's up? I was just hanging out. How have you been? Oh, Mia. Mia, how? There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. Here, take this. What? Uh, wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. You need to go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. No. Now go kill that little bitch. No, no. Mia! No! Okay, we better be able to save Mia because I did not go through all this fucking trouble just for her to die at the end. Just for her to sacrifice herself. 
Okay, you little bitch. Where the fuck are you? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna fuck you up. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, you spend like the whole game like hating the fucking Baker family, especially Jack because he's such a little dick. Constantly trying to kill you. This is all your fault? No, everyone, this is your fault. But then, uh, you have to realize that they really were just an innocent family. Minus Lucas. Because, uh, I mean, Lucas already was pretty crazy in the head. But they were just a regular family until all this shit happened. God, now I feel so bad. Okay. Oh, so we got a bunch of dead fish. Please don't let anything jump out of the water at me, because I don't have any weapons right now. Okay. Yeah, just a bunch of dead fish. Alright, so we got to crouch down. Oh, Fishy, you want to come with me? Alright, Fishy. We'll go, we'll, we'll go on this adventure together. Oh, no, Fishy. Uh, I can't take you with me. I'm sorry, buddy. Alright. Well, we're off the ship. Uh, I've got me salt mine. Salt Dolby. Uh, hmm, this looks familiar. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Oh, that, that was from the, uh, the demo, the first demo. I'm not going to interact with that first because I don't know if that's going to trigger something. So before that, let's mess around with our storage. You take me as things. Oh, thank God. All right. So now that we've uh, loaded up everything, let's interact with this. Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1. Do you read? This is Alpha 1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Okay. So whoever that is, they know about Evelyn. I wonder why they didn't do anything to help the Baker family. Or maybe they did, who knows. Is there anything else around here? Oh, enhanced handgun ammo, okay. Oh, we can't pick it up. February 18th, 1892, there was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Tuan and Backford are dead and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right, the ground there is too unstable. 1892, what the hell? Company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. All right. Um, I mean, the guys on the radio mentioned that Lucas is most likely in the mine. All right, so I guess we're going to some kind of mine. Like, the guys on the radio mentioned some kind of mine. And, uh... Oh, okay. Let's try to draw just a couple of them at a time. And try to blow them. Shit. I clicked square to reload. Forgetting that it's the same button for the detonation. Can we get a twofer? There we go. Alright. Sweet. Come on. I don't want to use any shotgun ammo if I don't have to. Die already. Okay, thank god. Okay. <sighs> Save. Actually, let's mess with our inventory. Alright. So now that we picked up more items, let's draw out some more of these molded. Right? No, okay, yeah. I had a feeling that that wasn't all of them. Alright, so we're gonna run back. Quick turn. Boop. Nope. Ooh. Just missed. 
Got him. And then we got a friend. I might need to use a shotgun on this guy. Oh shit. Come on, go down already. Oh, yeah. That was close. Oh no, I was kind of debating if between pulling out the shotgun or just running into the safe room. All right, there's another one over there. You know, I was just thinking, there's no sniper rifles in this game. I guess, you know, it's kind of good because, I mean, there were no sniper rifles in the original games. Sniper rifles didn't show up until, I believe, the fourth game? Because there wasn't any in the first three. I don't believe there was one in Code Veronica. Speaking of the, uh, the original games, I know they're remaking Resident Evil 2. I pray to God that they remake Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I love that game so much. Just because like, that game, like, you got to explore Raccoon City a lot more. And I, that, that's one thing I always wanted to do with Resident Evil 2, was I wanted to explore the city more, but you didn't really get to other than like the very beginning. And even then, it was super quick. Like Within like less than five minutes, you were already at the RPD station. That, that's what they need. They need to do like a Resident Evil game like this, but send Raccoon City and with zombies instead of molded. Oh my god, that'd be so awesome. That'd be so awesome. Alright, so we uh, messed with the inventory some more. We saved. Now we're going to go down to the salt mines. Down to the salt mines we go. So I guess now we just got to deal with Lucas, right? Lucas and Evelyn. I wonder if we have to fight both of them at the same time. That would be a pain in the ass if we do. Well, to be honest, like, I ha I, I didn't spoil myself, but I did hear, um, I was reading some reviews about this game. One of the things that they mentioned was that the final boss fight was very underwhelming. Like, I have no idea who we're fighting. I'm assuming it's going to be Evelyn. It's either going to be Evelyn or Lucas, but I'm going to take a guess and say it's going to be Evelyn. It might be both, actually. They might both be working together. But, um, come on, you son of a bitch. Go, there we go. But, um, I heard that it was very underwhelming and, uh, not that hard. Again, like, th that's all I know off of the reviews that I read. Because I try not to, uh, spoil myself. So, uh, like, whenever I read reviews about games, I try to read, um, spoil free reviews. But that's, that's what they mentioned. That it was, that basically it was underwhelming. So I'm assuming they mean it's easy. Because if it, if it was hard or whatever, if it was like a tough boss fight, I would assume that they would say, like, it would be challenge. it was challenging. Uh, good thing I didn't shoot those bombs. There we go. And then lead this one over here and boom. And the final one on this one right here. And boom. Oh, wait. Actually, there's one more. Boom. There we go. And I didn't have to use any ammo. But yeah, like you would think that the final one would be um, would be challenging rather than underwhelming. Okay. The reason why I'm shooting those boxes is because I got rid of my knife. Uh, I basically just stocked up on like all the weapons and ammo I can grab. See. I guess we'll find out. I'm assuming we're, we're nearing the end. This game was a lot of fun so far. I was very surprised. Like once I saw the first, the first trailer, I was kind of like, uh, first person Resident Evil game. I think it's trying to be too much like uh, the PT demo for Silent Hill. 
which unfortunately got canceled, which sucks. All right, so we can only go right because left and ahead is a dead end. Well, my left, which on the screen is right. So if we turn to my left, it's a dead end. If we go forward, it's a dead end. If we turn to my right, uh, looks like we can keep going. So I guess we'll check over here to see if there's anything we can pick up. This doesn't look like there's anything there. How about over here? Oh, but we can't pick those up. I'll drop something. What should I drop? Uh, burner fuel. No, let's drop handgun ammo. Maybe. Yeah. Cannot be recovered. Okay. Let's do it. That kind of sucks. The items that get dropped can't be recovered. Because, I mean, you're just pretty much dropping them on the floor. Alright, let's put that here. Just in case anything pops up behind me as I go forward. Oh. Like that. What? It didn't die? Oh! Oh, there's another one. Oh! Oh! No, 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 no. Not gonna use my grenade launcher. This is what I meant. Shotgun. Oh, that sucks. So I dropped that ammo for the remote bombs and I wasted. And uh, it won't let me go up to go grab the handgun ammo that was up top. Come on, die already. There we go. That sucked. <laughs> Should have just kept the handgun ammo. Yeah, well, it's not like I'm really using... I'm only pretty much using the handgun to break boxes. But still. Well. Fuck. Lesson learned, I guess. I'm going to stay crouched down just in case there's any trip wires. Okay, don't hear any molded. Alright. Oh. Oh, okay. Come on, let's push this. Push this so we can, come on. Hit the, hit the molded, hit the molded. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no, 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 let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Oh, no. Oh, is he dead? No, they're not dead. Oh, shit. All right, one down. Boom. Okay. Damn it. I was trying to push the uh, the cart. So maybe like the cart can run over them. But it wasn't fast enough. I'm not even sure if you, you can do it. Maybe it won't let you. But it would have been nice to basically just run them over save my ammo. There's no more molded popping out. Fucking molded. Is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Alrighty. over there so we got stairs leading up with the bomb trap I most likely gonna have to destroy that one is there anything over here looks like this way is a dead end but there's a box over there and machine gun ammo okay Anything else? Right over here. No? Alright, so we got box. And we got that trap we gotta worry about. Was there anything else over here I missed? Oh! Right there. There we go. I missed a couple of them. Like that one in the ship. I never, I never backtracked to go shoot it. Oh well. I'm not one of those like perfectionists where I have to get every collectible. 
Unless it like affects the story. If something affects the story or adds more story, then I'll do it. Otherwise, if it's just like for platinum trophies, I really don't care. I'm not like one of those kind of, I'm not like a trophy hunter. Basically, as long as it doesn't affect the story. All right. So up we go. Oh, that was a trap. Good thing I've been using my gun to break boxes. All right, let's reload. And let's make our way uh, through that door.